Hi guys, so welcome to another tutorial on IT Door Tutorials. I am Josef Botnar and uh, I'm continuing the series of tutorials related to uh, school uh, registration uh, system uh, app, uh, which uh, I started in the uh, last uh, video tutorial. In this video tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how uh, to design uh, the main form, which is this uh, school registration uh, system form. Uh, I'm going to place on this form a few uh, buttons uh, which um, are going to be used uh, to launch uh, various uh, forms uh, like uh, students uh, form, teachers form, uh, fees, uh, reports and uh, admin and also a, a form for uh, login for login. Oh, right there he, uh, and here in the middle I'm going to place an image, a suggestive uh, image for this uh, app uh, school registration uh, system. So let's uh, start uh, uh, to do so. Um, I need a uh, panel which uh, you can find it uh, either here in uh, containers or you can uh, type uh, in this uh, search box panel. Yeah, here you go and drag the panel on your uh, form. I'm going to place, place it here in on the right side. Here somewhere, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Uh, select the form, let's check the size. Alright, yeah, I think it's alright, the size is alright. Okay, so uh, I'm going to change the background for the, this uh, panel. Uh, you can uh, yeah, take over colors for background for this uh, website, uh, flat. Uh, uicolors.com you just type a flat colors and this uh, link will become uh, first click on it click on this uh, option and uh, from here you can uh, copy a lot of uh, various uh, colors for your uh, background I'm gonna to use uh, let me to check here a color which one Let's go back. I'm gonna to launch this one, British uh, palette. Okay, and I'm gonna to copy this color, this purple, uh, matte purple. Yeah, click on copy. Uh, yeah, and place the code, the the hexadecimal code here in properties windows where you have the background, the back color. Here you go. Yeah. Paste it in here. All right, enter. So this is the color what I want for the, this uh, panel where I'm going to place uh, buttons. Uh, actually, we received a uh, series of uh, three numbers uh, which uh, represent uh, RGB. The first is R from red. The second, uh, this one, uh, 122, is um, for green. Is G, and this is B for blue. Uh, this uh, the, the last uh, number. So now I'm going to place uh, here on uh, in, inside this uh, panel uh, buttons. So I'm going to remove this uh, panel from uh, search box. Yeah, common controls and button. Yeah, I'm going to place here a button. Let's make it uh, bigger a bit. Okay, something like that, yeah. All right, properties, and here I'm gonna to set uh, its uh, properties. Yeah, uh, here where is this flat uh, style, change it uh, to flat. Yeah, and as you can see now, no, uh, no background uh, for this uh, button. So the background is transparent, which uh, takes uh, over the uh, background color of this uh, panel. All right, uh, something else. Um, the four color I'm going to make it uh, white yeah 
to fit a better this uh, purple color. I'm going to change the font. Verdana uh, Bold 11. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm going to change the name here. This name is going to be used uh, in uh, inside the code. BTN uh, Students or Student. Yeah. And uh, where is this text? I'm going to write students or student. Yeah. So this uh, button will launch the student form where I'm going to enter the uh, information, the details about the students. All right. What I want uh, more to place here a uh, image. So uh, I'm gonna go inside my computer and here I've got uh, uh, my uh, project school registration system up and uh, I'm going to look for a folder where uh, I placed uh, I placed uh, my images. I think I put here uh, this one. I'm going to copy and uh, place it inside uh, my uh, project. I'm going to rename it images. I open this folder and uh, here I, I've got all the images uh, what I'm going to use uh, inside uh, my uh, project. All right. Okay, so uh, all these uh, images uh, was uh, downloaded uh, from uh, this uh, website, Icon Finder. So you can find uh, on this website uh, icons, uh, what uh, you can use uh, inside your project for uh, buttons or for uh, other controls uh, of your uh, project. Yeah, You select uh, the free option and you have uh, a lot of uh, free uh, icon options to be downloaded. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna to select image, click on this button, uh, local resource, import, and uh, for student, I'm gonna to bring this image. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna to align the image, uh, middle uh, left, yeah, okay and the text let's see yeah I, th I think the text uh, the text is all right like that if I uh, change this with the middle left it's gonna to overlap uh, the image so I might I might make uh, this uh, smaller yeah. okay Let's release this. Let's see how uh, it looks. I think it's all right. If I place the student, write these two on the right side. So uh, middle center is the best. Okay. So let's uh, copy and paste uh, this button another uh, five times. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. Okay. I'm going to place the first the login button so this is going to be the login button so I change here the the text and here 
the name uh, used inside the code btn lock it all right good another one this is going to be the teacher's button so I'm going to write here btn teachers for teacher yeah the text teacher and the image I'm going to change the image I'm going to bring this image which is uh, suggested for teachers alright also here for watching I need to bring another image uh, this one it's uh, suitable it fits uh, this button yeah alright another one this button is going to be used for uh, fees so fee okay uh, btn fee I'm going to bring an image for it an icon so this is a fee this one is going to be suitable for it right. this one going to be used for reports report yeah let me to bring another image This one is going to be suitable for this button reports. This uh, purse for the uh, fee. This one for the uh, teacher, student, and oops. And launching this. Uh, this lock. Alright, it left uh, this uh, button to bring the image and uh, to change uh, the text. This one is going to be admin. Yeah. And the image. What I'm going to bring is going to be this one. Okay. Here you go. Let's see how uh, my form looks. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, uh, here in the middle, I'm going to bring a picture box. launch a properties windows I'm going to change the back color to white yeah and I'm going to bring an image for background local resource click on import the button 
Now we wanted to bring this image, which is suggested for a school, in my opinion. Okay. Here you go. Press this arrow, and uh, where is this size mode? Select the stretch image, and the image will be stretched. And uh, let's uh, launch now this application. Here you go. So uh, this form uh, is designed, is finished. Here down here, uh, I see this uh, uh, white uh, stripe. Well, let's uh, change this. All right. Okay. Let's check the buttons. Uh, let's check this uh, button. If uh, I write uh, the name for the code. It wasn't written, uh, so BT admin. All right, reports. Yeah, now for reports as well. I'm going to write here BTN reports. Good. Fee teacher student launching. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, let's launch again uh, this uh, form. Here you go. So this is the main form, the school registration uh, system. Uh, I uh, placed uh, these uh, buttons for uh, login, student, teacher, fee, report, uh, admin, and uh, I placed uh, this. Uh, image here in the center. So this uh, was the goal of this video tutorial. I'm going to continue with this, uh, with this uh, uh, project, uh, uh, school registration system. Um, I'm going to continue to uh, design the form for each uh, of these uh, buttons for uh, login, for student, for teacher, fee, reports and uh, admin and obviously the code uh, behind them. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. See you next time. Bye bye.